Hi, Emily. I tried to find what you actually did before IBM, but it seems like you started with IBM, right? Yeah, I started uh, I, with IBM like uh, 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. Before uh, I joined IBM, I worked for a company called um, uh, EDS. <laughs> Currently, it's been bought by HP. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, worked for Capgemini for a little bit cool. and then joined, uh, uh, joined IBM. Hey, cool. And you uh, did Java before IBM or you started with Java at IBM? Uh, yeah, I did a little bit uh, Java before IBM, but uh, I mainly use Java, uh, I mean, in IBM uh, for more than 10 years, 11 years. Actually, when I started with IBM, and I mainly work on Java. Okay. And w which version was it? So what was your first contact with Java? Which Java version was it? Uh, I think at that time is um, uh, Java 1.4. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then Java 5. And, uh, and so on. Hey, cool. So, um, there's a recent, uh, pretty recent releases. Some of my clients still running one three. So, um, yeah, nice. And um, so, at IBM, what you did at IBM, if you can tell us. So, uh, yeah, is a is a I enjoy my time in IBM. Actually, when I joined IBM, I worked on the web web sphere application server, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I worked on the uh, version. A version seven feature pack, and uh, basically is uh, adding uh, added a new uh, web services support, and etc. And then I worked on the WS notification, WS policy. Uh, actually, is uh, I I did uh, various uh, different type of um, work in like WS policy and WS notification. I was a test lead uh, to make sure. Uh, all the uh, components can work together. Okay. And uh, then you stopped with uh, WebSphere and started with over with Open Liberty, or what was the path to WebSphere Liberty? Yeah, this is a long path. Actually, it's, uh, uh, and then uh, after the web services work, and uh, I uh, uh, started working on the um, OSGI. Uh, which is um, is a, a big uh, feature in WebSphere uh, application server, basically is to support OSGI applications. So I have a strong background in OSGI. So you can see, like from my little work in the micro profile, I'm uh, trying to make sure it's uh, all the versioning was done properly according to the OSGI semantic versioning white paper. Uh, in the web, in the um, WebSphere application server feature pack for the OSGS support, so I have done uh, consider a considerable um, uh, development work to make sure all the OSGS bundles can be resolved and um, uh, and so on. And then is that after actually at that time I also worked on the open source pro project called. Um, Apache Ares is still uh, active nowadays. Is still like uh, is still enterprise uh, OSGI specification implementation. Um, like uh, it has a transaction, it has a GPA, uh, uh, it has a various SPI fly and etc. Uh, and then the, after the Apache Ares and then the OSGI support, has, uh, I transitioned to work on the new project is called WebSphere Liber Liberty. Uh, and uh, mainly like WebSphere Liberty is trying to uh, in, uh, decrease the memory footprint and make sure the application server can start uh, very fast, very quickly, and also is uh, very composable, very small. and. Uh, the kernel is done in OSGI. So, and all the building infrastructure and et cetera in WebSphere liberties directly from the, a lot uh, from uh, um, Apache Ares and uh, work we have done previously. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. but uh, were you hired? So, how the project started? Is so, like, you know, 
uh, like a secret project at IBM and, uh, you know, <laughs> a manager walked, you know, walk around and say, okay, you and you are capable, just come with me and do something? Or what was the start? Uh, yeah, this is like, uh, it's all based on the past experience and uh, my knowledge, <laughs> etc. And it seems to be a perfect uh, fit. Like, uh, okay, I just uh, Uh, because I'm kind of person, I can pick on new technologies uh, pretty fast. So I embrace the challenges and etc. So is um uh, is the other interesting thing is uh, when I worked on the web sphere liberty, and I uh, was landed with a big uh, responsibility um, about uh, integration uh, of CDI um, into like web sphere liberty. So previously, I know I didn't know much at all about CDI. So I learned fast. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, all based on the past experience and et cetera. So this is a great, um, uh, I mean, uh, experience. And uh, I think it's a great benefit to work in IBM is because I can do all kind of different uh, type of work and uh, without changing actually company. Yeah, cool. And you work uh, with Erin Schnabel from the beginning? Uh, I work with uh, Erin Sch sorry? Erin Schnabel. So. Oh, yeah. I worked with Erin uh, Sch Schnabel uh, in the early days. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's Erin uh, and uh, Alastair Nottingham. I think the Erin uh, and uh, Alex um, mm -hmm. Moholland started uh, this uh, prototype and etc. Uh, first, and then uh, we joined uh, soon after. Very cool. Because I interviewed Erin as well, and, and Erin also liked uh, OSGI and the service model, re really. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I have a similar path as her. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, I know her pretty well, and I talked to her. And she also really liked IBM, so it seems like something, you know, there. <laughs> seems like a nice mm -hmm. company. Yeah, exactly. I'm proud to be working here. <laughs> okay. So I also tried uh, uh, Liberty, Open Liberty, and this is really impressive. So um, it's fast, and uh, what was I also like, you know, the um, how to call it reactive configuration. So I can change the configuration file, and it just picks up the configuration and configures itself. So it's really, really, really nice server. And um, so in one point of time, a uh, micro profile came, right? So what, what was the story behind micro profile? So I was actually in the initial call with, I guess it was uh, Red Hat and IBM and I think Tommy. Uh, what about the idea to create micro profile as a way to um, make Java E more, let's say, uh, innovative or, or fresh? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then... Um, I lost a little bit interest in micro profile because at the beginning nothing happened. So they just created, you know, yeah. uh, fat jar servers, which were not interested at all for me or my projects. But now I would say since one year, one and a half year, lots of interesting stuff happened. So what interests me is how micro profile came to Liberty. So what's the story behind? Yeah, this is a uh, very interesting. And uh, for micro profile, as you, you know, like a, uh, Uh, was uh, established a uh, couple of years ago. And uh, it's, uh, the main reason is because Java EE moved uh, too slowly. And uh, in our days, uh, in, the, uh, 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 in the cloud and the microservices uh, evolved really fast. And uh, we need a programming model to go with it. With the slow pace of the Java EE, is like uh, people started questioning, is Java dead? Actually, Java is not dead itself. The, the only thing is because we lack all the programming model for developing microservices, which is why uh, IBM, Red Hat, um, Payara, Tom, uh, Tommy Tribe, and LGC, and also some others individuals and got together and started uh, this new community called MicroProfile. So macro profile when the first started uh, is not very attractive um, as you say. Uh, uh, however, uh, it uh, it laid uh, some foundation. So it has JAXRS, it has the CDI, it has JSONP. 
And um, maybe people started questioning <laughs> what's the real usage of, of it. But that is the only foundation. And then in, the, uh, uh, in October, uh, not last October, two years ago, October, I started involved in the micro profile. Uh, when I uh, started actively working on it, at that time, is, um, uh, it wasn't, uh, I mean, there wasn't uh, anything being proposed, and uh, we are trying to figure out the process. So basically, is uh, uh, I just started. I uh, say, okay, uh, I think the first um, specification uh, is uh, how to configure the microservices. At that time, is uh, Mark Struberg and uh, uh, and some others and started talking about um, uh, config and etc. Uh, I just. Uh, started this micro profile config and based on the um, uh, uh, Oracle Dimitri uh, says um, uh, uh, like um, a configuration uh, presentation because uh, that uh, G uh, is uh, was proposed as a JSR for the configuration but eventually our Oracle didn't um, want to continue I said we really want to have this config. I just picked that piece up and started working on it. And then uh, Lei Chang, uh, uh, and then is, uh, I worked with Max Schubert, and then we got uh, the first release of um, Macro Profile 1.1, uh, uh, just with uh, Macro Profile Config 1.0. Also, people will think, oh, okay, the few, it took a few months. Uh, however, these few months uh, actually we laid out a process and we worked out uh, how to write a TCK, how to do the specification, uh, how to uh, like uh, interact with the Eclipse Foundation and get it released out. And once the, uh, once the first specification was out, uh, we like the few, uh, very rapidly, we created a few, uh, quite a few more, like uh, for tolerance. Again, this is, uh, I, led that specification and also at the same time i'm trying to help others and follow the process basically most of the specifications just follow the the, the uh, similar uh, approach as the micro profile config but it's proven the process and all the architecture and etc worked out pretty well uh, and open liberty uh, is the uh, is the a leading implementation for micro profile. We're trying uh, to be uh, in sync with micro profile releases. Once the micro profile release is out, uh, Open Liberty is trying to implement it. Uh, actually, is the for the spec, um, for example, convict and for tolerance, um, I'm leading, and um, oh, I'm trying to ensure that Open Liberty has uh, implementation and passed all the TCKs. And uh, so that we can release the specification. I think so, I think this is the, yeah. the right approach because if I would write a spec, I would write the code first. You know, write some tests, and if it works, then it's a lot easier to write down the spec afterwards. I think it yeah, is really yeah. hard, you know, to write a text first and then hope that it will work. This is not how I operate, so it's really hard, you know, to think clearly just by writing tests. Uh, text at the least uh, is my experience. Yeah, exactly. I learned a lot from this one, uh, and uh, I, I know we all camping for the test first. But sometimes it can be hard. But I really enjoyed. Uh, uh, I mean, this practice actually is. Uh, I started writing my TCKs, and then is the, then is the doing the implementation, and then afterwards find oh, there's an error in the TCK, and sometimes it's is an error in the implementation. It's really, it's really fun. It's a TCK. When I write a TCK, I'm not based on the implementation. I'm just based on the what has said in the spec, what has said in the Java doc. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, the Open Liberty or Liberty uh, implements right now everything. So from REST API, Open Tracing, Open API metrics. So everything is implemented by uh, Open Liberty right now. Yeah, Open Liberty has a full implementation of Micro Profile One or Three. Yes. And uh, it comes out of the box, or should I have to activate that with the, how it's called, feature set, I think? 
is a is a come out of box. Basically, if you download the current uh, the Open Liberty, mm -hmm. uh, the eighteen o one, uh, it should have a micro profile one dot three. Uh, the the feature micro profile one dot three, uh, is uh, is uh, has a full. Uh, implementation yeah. of all the specs, but I have to configure this, right? So I have to write feature micro profile one three, and then it's active, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have to add the feature uh, in the in that uh, uh, feature configuration. Cool. And what I could also do, I could run micro profile feature one three and Java E eight or Java E seven feature at the same time, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is. Um, Actually, is um, I'm uh, di directly involved in this architecture. So it's uh, basically is um, micro profile. Uh, currently works with both uh, Java E seven mm -hmm. or Java E eight. And this is actually great because uh, at the beginning of micro profile, what I didn't like, you know, that the micro profile would be a kind kind of branch of Java E or just uh, additional possibility. But what the application servers are doing right now, which is really smart, this is what Payara 5 does and also Liberty right now, is uh, you can actually download stock Payara 5 or Open Liberty and then go with standard Java 7 and Java 8. And on top of it, you can just use MicroProfile. So it's not like you have to decide between runtimes. So the uh, yeah. application servers already come with MicroProfile plus Java E. And this is why I'm actually using MicroProfile in production in several projects because... I didn't have, you know, uh, to introduce uh, additional server runtimes to my clients. They could just use stock application servers, and this is a huge selling point, I think. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for the feedback. Oh, by the way, uh, I mean, we are also collecting like as, um, a client list to use the macro profile for their production. Do you think you can share that list with me? I will have to. To ask my client first, I think uh, yeah. a view clients will do this and a view not, but uh, let's see what I can do. So at least, you know, the um, uh, startups will be happy to share and larger companies are a little bit, it's harder to yeah. convince them. So this is the... Yeah, so it's a, hopefully it's a win-win. So we can uh, advertise, no, advertise, uh, publish their names in the like uh, micro profile mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the website, etc. Mm -hmm. Because we, we really want to get some more feedback from the community. So as I can see, the micro profile community is developers uh, help developers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so developer design, uh, define the requirement and uh, we just like uh, in, in, uh, uh, implement it mm -hmm. and uh, feedback to the developer community. What uh, was a uh, the largest selling point, point to me for Micro Profile One Three was the uh, metrics and uh, a little bit health check. And the reason for that is um, the health check is really nice if you have Kubernetes or um, OpenShift or environments like that. And the metrics is just great with uh, with uh, you know Demeter and Gauche. You can just uh, uh, with the Gauche you can just uh, expose very easily business metrics in JSON and Prometheus format, which is incredible. I think this is yeah. the a huge added value to that. Uh, config is okay, but uh, uh, I mean, it provides value on top of, 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 of standard, but uh, with uh, system get env and uh, on Docker, you can achieve a lot with Java 7. But I think the metrics, this is where, where uh, my, my clients really like that because right now, there is you will you will have to implement something by yourself, you know, a REST endpoint and, 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 and do this. And if you would like to integrate with Prometheus, you will have to parse it. So metrics are great. And open API also sounds interesting, particularly the uh, Java uh, API and Java interfaces, because right now most of the projects come with uh, you know lots of pollution and swagger annotations in the Java code, which is terrible in my eyes. So this could be interesting, and open tracing is also uh, requested. So I think um, the micro profile one three is a big deal. This is what, uh, especially the combination with Java seven and Java eight, so that the you know stock mainstream application servers pro support micro profile as well. I think this is the huge selling point. I would say yeah. if if you will have to create you know to to download a different application server, no one will use it. But right now it's a no brainer. Okay, that's a great feedback. The other thing is, uh, <laughs> have you tried to use the macro profile for tolerance to create uh, uh, resilient microservices? So that's really easy to use. The other uh, is the 
the other thing we added to the other feature, a nice feature we added to the um, Bot Tolerance 1.1, 1 1. we just released it mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago, is the integration with the metrics. Mm -hmm. So you can see how many retries you have done and uh, how fast are your response, and you can add a timeout, so you can do the circuit breaker and to monitor the circuit breaker, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I recommend you try it out. I um, I used, I didn't use that in production, and the reason for that is because we already had our own implementation. For instance, we used, you know, interceptors and execu managed executor service as a bulk hat, and uh, oh, completable future with uh, uh, to build pipelines, but um, I will I will take a look at that because uh, in my opinion you should always prefer platform over your own code. Yeah. And uh, therefore uh, I will try it. So I didn't use this in production yet. The uh, the uh, fault tolerance. Okay. But um, my clients ask me about that. So there is uh, lots of awareness about this. So um, yeah, I have okay. a, I have a question to you about all the all the APIs. So let's say mm -hmm. I have an idea, let's say something, you know, uh, random payment API. So um, yeah. what is the process? How to introduce a new API to MicroProfile 1.4? What I would have to do to do this? Uh, if it is a new API on the existing uh, specifications, uh, uh, such as like uh, if you want caching. to add Let's say caching. This is more realistic. We would like to oh, have caching. caching. Okay. So that means uh, currently we don't have a caching specification. So the process is you you know the microprofile.io Google Google group. So in the microprofile.io on the right hand corner you said join discussions. Mm -hmm. You can join the discussion and then you said uh, you can write up. You say actually uh, I think his uh, microprofile should uh, introduce that. Uh, the new uh, supports and the caching mm -hmm. facility mm -hmm. and uh, here's why here's my use case and etc and uh, then um, uh, yeah the people including myself will comment and say oh, what well, we can discuss and then I go oh, that's a great idea let's create a repository uh, in this case uh, like we create um, uh, Eclipse Bugzilla like uh, for example, just the same micro profile dash cache, mm -hmm. and then you will populate uh, the, um, uh, the 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 thinking, the des design thinking there, and then is um, uh, you join up, uh, you kind of um, drive a worker group. Mm -hmm. Basically, is the way to drive a work group is like uh, who is interested in, the, in this, and then let's do a weekly hangout. So we get together and discuss, and then we do the uh, pull request and then discuss the issues and get together to see who who can do this um, one issue, who can do the other issue. And this is all community work. Uh, is like uh, no no one's opinion is um, uh, with more than others. So basically, is uh, if you join, if you start a conversation, etc., and um, every conversation is taken seriously. And uh, will be it uh, will be like uh, uh, not uh, I mean will be discussed mm -hmm. and to reach a, a resolution. So you have so like I a voting process whether the specification will be included or not, or how it works at the end. So let's say we, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's uh, like uh, if we we, we would do uh, like uh, uh, some discussion, and there is. Uh, People will say, no, I, I am a V2 this. <laughs> I'm not happy with this. And then it's like another discussion. And then gradually the people say, oh, okay, that's a good idea. And then, uh, we say, uh, and then like uh, normally uh, is um, someone, uh, either me or somebody else, is there, let's create a bugzilla to, to, uh, to get this repository created. Mm -hmm. uh, so it won't take long. So. This community is very uh, vibrant, very active community, and uh, for me, like I, I, I talk on this community uh, daily. <laughs> so it's uh, a lot of people like me, and uh, Kevin Sutter from IBM is uh, very active as well. Uh, he is the one of the projects leads, and also Ken Finnegan from Red Hat is another project lead, uh, and. Uh, uh, oh no! I said John 
John uh, um, uh, uh, Clegan. Clegan, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, these are quite a few people are really active. Uh, uh, is a, a lot of people are really active. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to worry if you have any any ideas and etc. And uh, you will feel welcome. Okay. And the actual work is done on GitHub. So what I saw, all the repositories, yeah. so you can contribute whatever you like. So it's an open yeah. community. So this is yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. One thing I want to say is uh, because this is the Eclipse um, uh, uh, governed uh, repository, so uh, if you want to contribute and uh, uh, with a PR and etc., uh, you have to sign the Eclipse uh, um, uh, agreement uh, contribution agreement for the e- ECA. Mm-hmm. So just uh, take a take a few checkbox and uh, sign up. Yeah, so this is this is just for the governance and the license and copyright and etc. Okay, so uh, now we have one three is out till uh, late two thousand and seventeen. I suppose you are already working on one four, right? Yeah, actually, as we speak, <laughs> uh, last night we have uh, a macro profile one or four and uh, a macro profile two or oh, uh, both. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh, uh, both have their first candidates being released, so it's we are in the we are in the process to create um, micro profile one dot four and micro profile two dot zero. This is nice. And what's the features of one four? So the one four is uh, the um, uh, there's a new uh, no new specification, but there's a few updated specifications, including. Uh, a new version of micro profile config 1.3 uh, and for tolerance 1.1 uh, and also the rest client 1.1 and also the uh, open API 1.1 and the JWT 1.1 mm-hmm. so quite a few updates and uh, in the in this spec and the micro profile 2.0 uh, contain the full set of the micro profile 1.4 however uh, the the Java EE the Java the three Java EE features including like CDI, uh, JSMP and JAXRS, they uh, they are updated to the um, Java EE eight mm-hmm. version, and uh, plus the uh, new addition of JSON B. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is um, that's nice. And Open Liberty already supports one four. Uh, Open Liberty is working on the implementation of the, um, uh, of the all these specifications because one four is not out as yet. <laughs> yeah, but you know you could. Uh... Yeah, we are working. We are working on the on the um, uh, implementation and some implementation like uh, config one dot three is already in the Open Liberty, but it's not in the is in the daily build. It's not being released mm-hmm. as yeah. Because we want to get the specification, uh, I mean, released publicly before we <laughs> release our own implementation. At the very early uh, micro profile meetings, um, th- there was a you know, the questions: What should be included uh, from Java E in micro profile? And yeah. what I proposed, but it seems like this was only my interest, was uh, concurrency utilities for Java E. So the ability to inject managed executor services and thread pools. From application mm-hmm. server because I use them all the time uh, as bulkheads or to be able, you know, to restrict the amount of threats. But it seems like uh, this was not used a lot, and now we have the fault tolerance, which is somehow based on that. On on that, uh, what is your take on this? Do, do you see the need, you know, to have um, con- injectable thread pools? I, I mean, the thread pools are already there. This is Java e concurrency, uh, or or, or what's the current situation? Because I don't think it is a part of 2.0. And uh, on all my project, we are using this. I don't know whether you are aware of this. You can say, you know, add resource managed executor service, and you basically get executor service from Java SE. And then you can, uh, with completable future, you can create your pipeline, reactive programming. You can pass the managed executor service to JAX or S client. So this is actually a pretty useful stuff in microservices. So... Uh, What's the idea or replacement or yeah? Yeah, this is a interesting question. 
uh, because for the Java EE application server, you know, we uh, we are camping for the managed executor service. Uh, I mean, although it's, they are not in the micro profile, however, the application server uh, is basically you still use the application server. Application server will have this uh, concurrency uh, feature and uh, available to you. For the um, uh, for tolerance is that uh, in our implementation actually we directly use the concurrency feature, which is uh, managed executive service for implementing this book head feature. Exactly. Uh, so it's, yeah. So ag actually, it's the kind of uh, gray box. However, it's available to you. And um, it doesn't mean is uh, not useful. Is it doesn't mean is uh, like uh, micro profile didn't include it is not useful. However, application server is kind of provide this uh, feature. Yeah, but is somehow um, it's not abandoned uh, API, but is not a lot of developers are talking about this uh, a lot about Java concurrency, and uh, this yeah. pack is lean actually. So this is not a lot going on. So we we could even. Uh, parts are not not like the context is not that useful, but the the injection of of, of executor service it is, and one thing uh, could be more standardized, and this is the configuration of the thread pool. So in the spec, if I read it, you only will find you know examples uh, how the the thread pool can be configured. But right now, is up to the application server. So what what I think what could be useful in future to have like you know a set of parameters. And I would just take it from Java SE, like, you know, the depth of the queue and number of threads or whatever, and make it like say, all application servers will have to, you know, support this configuration. And this could be actually also nice for the config, uh, um, Eclipse, how it's called, um, this, the config, uh, yeah, just Eclipse config. And Micro profile yeah, config. Because uh, we could standardize this via this, and, and this could be useful. Let's see. Yeah. What they are should, you know... Uh, uh, a pink the Google group <laughs> for that. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I think is uh, yeah, add a new features. I think is uh, for macro profile is uh, in the beginning it was not included. It doesn't mean it will not be included. For example, Jason B <laughs> and uh, and etc. is uh, it wasn't even discussed. And then we say, oh, okay, let's add a Jason B because it's uh, it's helpful. Once is the concurrency become more, uh, I mean, active and more use useful, I think it is nice to be included in the future. In the future, yeah. The problem with the concurrency is now if you start with a project, it is hard to uh, to use it because you don't have the problem yet. So if you only we need the thread pool if you need some more fine grain, oh. you know. So it's like lots of developers say, okay, why I need it is, uh, I mean, it's just uh, we can just go with request response. But if you have a thread pool, you can have you know uh, suspended JAXRS and you can use completable future with a thread pool, and then you can create a pipeline which is uh, nicer to manage and uh, more fault tolerant than, yeah, this is the problem a little bit. So it's hard to, to, to sell, you know, thread pools um, if you have application servers at the beginning of the projects and later no one cares. So, but let's see. So this was just... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now I'm thinking even further, like uh, like fault tolerance, the book head is kind of configure the thread pool. Yeah. I uh, configure the, the, the how many concurrent thread can be run, uh, how many in the waiting. Yeah. Waiting and this goes in the right direction. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we have the roadmap 2.0 and 1.4. Uh, uh, what we also learned is really easy to contribute. And now I would like to hear is, you know, what are the challenges? So are there any challenges with the community, with moving forward, or is just everything, everyone is happy in micro profile world? Uh, I think is uh, the uh, I mean the challenge is uh, also I uh, can can be seen as a benefit. So the for example, if you you trying to do something in within your team, for example, just uh, three or four people, and then you can move along very fast. Let's like, let's go that way, and then we all go go that way. However, uh, maybe uh, we after a few days. Uh, uh, I mean, experiment center and find out oh, that's the wrong way. And uh, things like uh, 
oh, maybe if we have more people to discuss, uh, discuss first, all those things, okay, in the first few days, nothing uh, moved. Okay. <laughs> if you measure the success for the first beginning, like uh, it's just uh, talking, discussion, thinking, uh, and um, but once it's starting moving, and that can go very fast because we already discussed for, from various scenarios and, and etc. So I think uh, I see this um, quite a positive experience. But for someone new, I mean, started, uh, I mean, uh, uh, seriously joining uh, micro profile specifications. And, oh, why does it take so long for this? But um, yeah. But I, I mean, from my past experience, uh, it's really good to discuss and discuss and then figure out what's the best way we and then end up in a very good um, situation. I mean, it goes crazy fast if you ask me. You had three releases in 2017, right? Yes. So this is we 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 yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, uh, and they are already supported by Payara 5. I'm not sure about Whitefly, whether they support out-of-the-box, uh, you know that, whether my, Whitefly supports MicroProfile 1.3? Uh, I think they are working towards the MicroProfile 1.3. In the MicroProfile uh, a wiki, actually, we have, um, uh, we have a wiki to document uh, which application server supports which uh, mm -hmm. Uh, micro profile releases and uh, uh, Payara 5 and 4 are supporting 1.3, which is incredible, and uh, Open Liberty as well. So, it's yes, everyone. Open Liberty, Web Sphere Liberty, yeah, yeah, this is but so uh, Worldfly Swarm. I think uh, they are very uh, if they have not uh, fully supported, but they are really close. I know people are working on them actively. So, cool. So, the question now, you know. Where people can find you? What are the links or URIs or pointers? And yeah. So it's uh, uh, for finding me. Uh, actually, is uh, I I'm kind of uh, yeah I'm trying to be very active on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> so my Twitter account is uh, uh, Emily mm -hmm. uh, F H uh, J I A N G. Uh, and also is uh, my email, uh, yeah, my Google email and IBM email is on the is a, um, on a lot of commits. Okay. And also I'm on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's uh, I try to respond to uh, yeah to the to the request and etc. by email, Twitter, or all kinds of different uh, social media. Don't say it, otherwise you won't be able oh. to 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 <laughs> any work. So what I did meanwhile. I don't respond to any technical emails. What I do instead, I answer once a month everything on my YouTube channel because I was not able, you know, to to keep up with the my inbox. It was like crazy. I got uh, like twenty emails a day. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I haven't reached to your fame yet. <laughs> <laughs> now you are. Uh, now you are. Um, okay, cool. And this uh, Open Liberty, I think, is just OpenLiberty.io, right? Yeah, openliberty.io. One thing I really want to emphasize is that something I'm really proud of and also I'm part of the, that um, effort behind is the micro profile, uh, no, openliberty.io guide. So in that guide, in the openliberty.io, if you click on the guides, you can see all the micro profile uh, guides basically teach you how to use uh, each individual micro profiles the specifications mm -hmm. for example config and fault tolerance uh, open API and etc and then you know the uh, fault tolerance is uh, can be difficult to understand and we even created interactive guide to teach people how to use a fallback uh, how the circuit breaker works mm -hmm. so yeah I strongly encourage people to uh, uh, log on to go through each guide. It's only take about uh, 25 to uh, 30 minutes. And after that experiment, you, you, you can see the source code. It uh, will be in your GitHub. So it's, you can directly the poet, um, uh, yeah, from the GitHub. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the URI is openliberty.io slash guides. And I take a look right now on, on it. And uh, this is looks like, you know, a collection of, uh, of, 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 Rectangles, and on each rect rectangle you have a topic like consuming RESTful services with template interfaces, 
then the next one limiting the number of concurrent uh, requests to microservices or adding health reports to microservices and each of these guides takes 20 minutes and looks like incredibly useful so this is actually great work and yeah mm -hmm. exactly very yeah so it's uh, we got really good feedback on this and another good thing is uh, there's a java doc on this guide a java doc including the java e java doc and micro profile java doc so you can browse all the micro profile java doc on the openliberty.io. Yep. So, so one thing I really want to say, emphasize is um, my, uh, open liberty treats macro profile uh, very, very seriously. So we want to be the leading uh, uh, implementation and we want to like, uh, uh, want to stay in sync with macro profile releases. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks actually really useful. Um, another question, um, is it possible to buy support for Open Liberty Profile by IBM? Yeah, it's uh, Open Liberty. If you want to do the support, uh, I think it's uh, via the WebSphere Liberty. Mm -hmm. And you could also uh, get a uh, micro profile with it? Yeah, yeah. WebSphere Liberty is, uh, include uh, everything in Open Liberty. So it is the Plus same the people. same state. So not like you know the uh, yeah. IBM is lagging behind. It's the same base. Yeah, it's exactly the same base. Basically, it's, uh, uh, it's almost like uh, it's a one box put into another box. Yeah, this is actually great because then you could start with Open Liberty and if your project gets more serious, you can actually ask for help or buy you know, support from IBM, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, thank you for the interview. And uh, next time, you will we can meet again and you can tell me about MicroProfile 3 or 1.5 or whatever you do, right? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, looking forward to see, meeting you in maybe in some of the conferences. Yes, and I also publishing uh, videos about uh, today. I published one video about metrics and MicroProfile on Vimeo. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Block. This was accident. So if you... <laughs> yeah. Oh, another thing is uh, MicroProfile config. You, you uh, let me just... Um, explain a little bit is uh, is very useful because it's kind of in the application you do not need to just say in system got go, uh, dot get in you can just say directly inject into your application you don't even need to know whether where the configuration property is from for example like you're saying okay all my config is environment variable however if you uh, one day you want to like a uh, 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 do a zoo paper or zoo, you want to put something in the zoo paper and etc. You don't need to change your application whatsoever. You just uh, directly, uh, I mean, put that configuration in a different configure source. Your application will find it. Zoo is a good point. Yeah, this is yeah. this is helpful. Yeah, so I saw that. That's why I'm strongly, uh, I mean, promote um, config on uh, every uh, micro profile. Um, specifications. Uh, also, I want to let you know. Also, we are doing a micro profile reactive. Mm -hmm. So, if you are interested, I mean, of course. Uh, please join in the the GitHub is micro profile dash reactive. Cool, micro so, profile reactive. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, James Roper from Ladband is leading at the moment. So. Okay. I'm really. Uh, I mean. I'm really happy you, uh, I mean, uh, like micro profile and uh, I I'm, I will be really happy if you join in the uh, community and start contributing as well. Yeah, I, I will try, you know, uh, it's yeah. really hard to clone myself or become concurrent. This is, <laughs> this is the issue, <laughs> <laughs> but I would really love to. And, and now obviously there is added value here, right? Uh, yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, this is what I like. Uh, uh, the last question is, there were bi-weekly calls. Uh, are they still still available? Or uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a bi-weekly calls. Uh, the next uh, bi-weekly calls will be the Tuesday next week uh -huh. at 7 p.m. in the UK time. Mm -hmm. For you, probably it will be at 6 p.m., yeah. I think. Yeah, it would be good if you, even if, uh, I mean, you do not actively to like uh, start writing code, doing PRs, join in our community, uh, the, the bi-weekly call, uh, and uh, get your feedback and et cetera. We will welcome you. 
yeah. Okay. We'll be very thrilled to have you uh, on board. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I am yeah. indirectly on board. I'm not, you know, officially on board, but I'm closely <laughs> watching what you are doing and just using my projects. And uh, I would really like to contribute. Uh, the very last question, because I got it right now. Uh, are there any plans to to merge with Jakarta EE or what will happen with both? Yeah, it's a, it's a, I know you are going to ask this. <laughs> and uh, quite a lot of people ask me uh, in the other conferences, like in the DevOps UK and DevOps front. Uh, basically, it's, um, uh, this is uh, in the community, we are saying actually, it's no, now is not time to discuss whether to merge a micro profile uh, into Jakarta EE because Jakarta EE is still in progress. And, uh, and, uh, it's not, uh, I mean, graduate as yet. Is that is the process is still like, uh, is is still in progress, and uh, and the micro profile is uh, has found is the right way and uh, to uh, proceed and uh, re get a release out uh, fairly quickly. My view, my view is so the basically the community view is uh, okay. Once the Jakarta EE is uh, kind of uh, kind of finally set up and uh, then have the like uh, Jakarta E8 and etc out and etc and then we can discuss whether to merge but my personal view I really want to keep the micro profile separate uh, active alive and uh, parallel and the reason is you know, I can see the micro profile is kind of geared up towards the micro services and uh, it will uh, iterate fast and uh, we, will, we will see uh, if there's a request we will go go after it and we release ourselves really fast it's a kind of light week um, a, a lightweight vehicle i can see it as a um, very sporty car mm -hmm. so it can go fast and then being a very a very small and uh, fast mm -hmm. I have a similar opinion, but slightly different motivation. What do I? What I would see micro profile like an incubator, so it moves fast oh, yeah. and is you know and is very usable. And then the Jakarta yeah. EE project could pick up, you know, uh, for instance, they really like let's say the uh, fault tolerance, so they can just standardize fault tolerance, so they pick the fault tolerance, and then it becomes just this part becomes official part of Jakarta EE nine. And then you could innovate further in different directions, and then uh, parts of the micro profile will, is going to be merged to uh, Jakarta E, but will never disappear. This is what I usually I tell uh, on conferences. Yeah. This was my view. And the only thing is the, the micro in the name because uh, it's not not just about microservices, right? So it, uh, the JWT, for instance, is also usable outside the microservices. Yeah, exactly. So, um, uh, yeah, it's a useful uh, useful in different uh, uh, I mean scenarios yeah. contexts. And uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. And uh, the other things, the e micro profile, we even uh, said uh, we are not a free or break backward compatibility. And uh, like some spec already discussed, oh, we want to introduce backward uh, compatibility, uh, ba uh, backward incompatibility changes. Yeah, is if uh, we have to do it, we, yeah, we do it. Uh, and uh, so that's why is uh, what I like micro profile is flexible, as you say. Like uh, the standard body, actually, if uh, like for tolerance, we go through the same standard body and get it standardized, and Jakarta E can include it. Or the standard body is can look after both micro profile and Jakarta E. So the once it goes through standard body, is in the standard. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So any any remaining links or thoughts? Yeah, it's a, I strongly uh, recommend everybody who listens to this podcast to, uh, I mean, click on the microprofile.io, join the discussion, and look at the, uh, all the specifications. And also, you want to understand, uh, I mean, how to use these specifications and etc. If the specification doc is not good enough, and uh, or you want to see the real coding and log on to the openliberty.io to uh, uh, I mean look at the guides and just uh, type in micro profile in the search and you can see all micro profile guides there. Perfect. So thank you again and see you soon at conferences. 
Yeah, see you soon in the conference. I hope、uh, sometime this year, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you.